Oh, hello there. This is Stevio. Yes, I look at tractors when I'm in bed. Well, we need to get to work. Let's get to it. So, we need to go pay the bank. So let's go pay the bank quickly. We have $100,000 due on our loan. So we need to get that paid. Take squad's truck down there. Pay the bank nice and quickly. And we should be good for the whole spring. So in two, we need to get a Oh, caught some air there. A little bit of bumpy. We need to get to planting. We got corn to get in the ground. We got uh, corn and soybeans to get in the ground. So we're way behind on each. All right, now the bank is paid. Now we got to get to work. So first thing is first, we got to get the cultivators running in the field. But, you all reminded me that there's something that I need to do with the horse pasture. So, we need to make sure we do this first before we got the horses all over the place. So, we're going to go down. We're going to build a little gate for a horse pen. Then we're going to get started with the cultivators. We still have a few fields to cultivate. Or take it nice and slow through the water. I want to get it in the intake. Looks like the horses are sleeping, so we'll be quiet. All right, we got our fence in. We didn't even wake some of the horses. We woke a few, so they're all doing good. We got our gate in. Look, works good. Put an old metal gate in. Does it close? There we go. Alright, now let's get to work. It's like the old Ford woke one of them up. Let's get back to work, we'll take the shortcut. Alright, now we're back to the farm. So we got all the chiseling done for all of our land. Now we just need to get a couple more fields cultivated. So we actually got a great deal on a new 4166 Turbo International. Figured this would be a good tillage tractor. Why not? We got so many tractors, why not just one more, right? So we're going to put this on the well witch chisel, get this running. Good little international here, works good. So a lot of people complain that I need to fix my driveway. So I cannot fix that. I cannot kill that grass there. So for whatever reason, the map author didn't allow you to purchase all the land. So when they do that, basically I can't uh, put a road up to there. There's no real way I can think of to get it done to. 
but that's okay. So sorry about that. This is our little shortcut we take to our two far fields. We don't think we named these fields yet that I know of. So you know we named we got our big field. We got our double twenty and our double forty, I think. It's like it pulls it good, that's good. Get the hired hand started on this. Where the hired hand goes, this thing early puts the coal out in there. I like it. Works good. Be a good old tillage tractor. So we got this at a really good price, so that's good. Uh, we are getting pretty low on fun, so at least if we are not able to, maybe we can sell one of our newer tractors to make our loan payment. If it comes to that. It's an odd shaped field, that's for sure. Not the greatest, biggest field. So, it's probably about 30 acres. Looks like the hired hand's doing good. We'll get the other implements started. So we'll jump into our 1586. It's going to be International Cultivate Day. So this thing just works good on the chisel. So why not promote it to the cultivator too? So we're going to get this onto our bigger field we need cultivated. Really haven't thought of a name for that field yet. You guys can pr maybe help me out with that. So we're gonna plant corn in that field over there. And we're gonna plant soybeans in these two fields. I'm hoping Got kind of out of control there. Hoping to possibly uh, be able to uh, swap my oats early so I can get some more soybeans into that. So plant some late soybeans. That's the plan. I don't know if I'll work with seasons or not. I do have Midwest. Uh, geo loaded. You might be thinking why I didn't put the 4166 on this cultivator. So this tractor I believe actually has a few more horsepower 1586 than the 4166. So I think the 4166 is a little bit older of a tractor. So don't know if the 4166 is actually American or not. Not positive so on that. So I know the 1586 is definitely American. Good old American old iron. These tractors look like they're doing good so we're gonna get back to the planter we need to set up the planter so no we're not hooking the planter up to the K7210 but I do need to move it so we're moving it out of the way we got a lot of implements in the way we are going to use the 7810. 
So first things first, we gotta get the Dimco tanks on there. We will go over here, hook up these tanks. So now we got the tanks on, now we need to hook up the planner. We're going to hook up to the 12 row Krenzy planner here. So, so far everything looks good. So, this is a three point hitch Kinsey planner. So, I remember when I used to ride with my dad, he planted many fields with a uh, 12 row planter like this that was on a three point hitch. Back wheels that help balance and take some of the load off of the back, back of the tractor. All right, now we're filling up with corn seed here. Shouldn't take too long. All right, we got 47 bushels. That's weird. How is that reading bushels? Huh, wonder how that happened. Weird. So we're going along here good. Seems like this planter runs a little bit deep. So, otherwise, everything looks like it's running good. Definitely running a little deep, but really forcing this corn in, that's for sure. Looks like it's going to take multiple fills with this planter. May have to upgrade the planter. One of the first things we do. We'll have to do for now because we do not have the money. We're definitely going to have. It's definitely not using a lot of fertilizer. So I don't know why that is, but sticking right at a hundred percent in gallons there. Weird, our fertilizer says gallons. I wonder why that's doing. So if you don't know, I got unit convert to work with seasons at least for this map so uh, one of my watchers or buddies freaking Burns Farm I believe it was uh, sent me a link that he knew worked with uh, seasons or it's been updated or something so I don't know where this link was came from or if it's public Obviously, we got unit convert mod that works with seasons, so we didn't know the first unit convert was causing a lot of crashes with seasons, the way seasons works, basically, it was probably messing up the season script. That's all been hashed out and fixed, so now we get, I get my uh, U.S. measurements back, so that's very sweet. Love being able to see gallons, bushels, tons. So there's 
very hard for me to change, convert that into it. So this does it all for me, so I'll have to do the math. So it looks like this planner just needs a little bit more animation, so definitely doesn't flex right, if you ask me. So it's too bad because it would be nice to have a, a good three-point hitched planner, 19. here. So this is going to be a good, a huge field of corn. Definitely looking forward to that. Really enjoy the three-point planters. They're definitely easier to maneuver. The 7810 definitely made a good plant tractor. So it looks like our hired hand already got done with this field. We'll touch it up a little bit. like we missed a little bit on a few of these corners. So our 1586 is still going good over there. So I'd like to go get a drill and get this started. Planting some soybeans so we will knock out all of our planting. We got some serious planting to do today. This tractor definitely has a tight turning radius on it. We got a lot of corners on this field because it's an odd shape. If you don't know, I'm going to continuously do this series. I'm really enjoying the old iron series here on Autumn Oaks. And I have a new map build in a new series that's on Chippewa County. So that's basically going to take over my Midwest Horizons. So I played on Midwest Horizons uh, many months already. So it was time to be retired so I know a lot of you were fans of that series hopefully you'll be fans of Chippewa County so really think the textures on that map really make it so much more realistic that was one of the biggest reasons why I picked it so go check out my farm build over there on Chippewa County I think you guys will enjoy it and gals so we're going to be running two series, so I've got my old iron series here, my international cultivate team here, and I got a sort of new, uh, so I guess more like new used farm that will be on Chippewa, so starting out small. Got three farms on it. My brother dead and uh, farm dead as a family because there's a lot of family farms out there. So we're gonna get this put back. We will get it uh, washed up before we put it away. But for now, it's we need to get that planter running. 
So we got the 4010 here. We're gonna be planting with this. Everyone likes planting the 4010, so that's why I put the duals on it. Just run a little implement. Use it in the field more. So a lot of people ask me, please take the duals off if you're gonna use it for hay. So if we end up using this tractor for hay swathing or hay baling or whatever, yes, we'll take the duals off. Till then, we will wait. Because when we run planters like this drill and everything, we just want less compaction, more traction. this planter filled up before we get to the field we just will fill it up all right apparently the fill nozzles or tube is on that side let's get this planter started so I really wish these Row markers worked on this planter, so that's my only gripe with this planter. Sometimes it seems like it has some issues with course play too. So we're headed off. So this 4010 is really pulling this thing nicely, so really like the looks of this 4010 on this planter. The planter is definitely newer than the tractor, but that's okay. 4010 works just as good as the new ones. You'll probably even put something like GPS on a 4010 if you really want it. Wanted to, and you have all the features of a new tractor. Maybe not an air ride cab, air ride suspension. Probably not as good at AC. I guess you could put whatever you want as AC in a cab. So that's probably. We will time lapse this for your enjoyment. 4010 really works good on this drill here. You know, I want you close, maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow, I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style, sleeves rolled up, glasses on. Definitely enjoy the look of these duels on this 4010. Get a little bird's eye view of the planters. Head over and watch her 1586. You got your high heels on, and that I'm cultivator sure that got dirty shoes. quick. What could go wrong? Sipping on a beer, sing along to our favorite songs. All I want is you. you make I will jump over and watch her corn planter in action. Starts racing when I'm with you. Definitely enjoying the look and feel of this plant and rig here. like our Red Power International just got done so man did it make this chisel dirty must have really been going deep in the ground for that chisel to get that dirty Whew. So we'll get this back we gotta get our other drill started planting some more soybeans so hopefully we get all these soybeans in the ground 
and we can get a good rain crop or we get some rain on the forecast so we can germinate the seeds and get a good bushel crop because we definitely need it with our big payoff or big loan so we got the duels put on our 1066 so we can pull the drill we're gonna pull the drill over here fill up with some soybeans some fertilizer and get it started There's 60 acre field over there. So now we got both drills running. Gonna be making some good time. Got the old open cabs running the drills. Really feels like olden days when you're doing the open cab. So we'll run around a few laps with the hired hand and then we need to go run and make a quick go grab some seed pallets here quickly now let's watch our 1066 in action Really enjoy the countryside feel of this Automos map. The roll crop Kinsey gets empty. We better go get some bags of uh, corn seed. We also probably need some more bags of soybean seed. So we'll run to the store quickly. So we got our bags of seed now so we got them back get back to watching our row crop planner in action Really do some quick turnarounds when you got a three point planner like this. Back to watching our drills plant the soybeans. That was a near miss by both the drills. Another really close call there. Hope these drills ain't take long to get this field done. Just 
love the look of this 4010 on this 1590 drill. So the 7810 finished working, so we're going to head that back to the farm. So it definitely needs washed up. Looks like we almost ran out of seed again. Still got plenty of gallons of fertilizer, so I don't know what the fertilizer is actually going down or not. So that might be an issue with the mod. But other than that, this planter worked really well. Get another bird's eye view of the drain drills in action. This 1066 sure has an awkward turnaround. like he's almost doing a figure eight every turn around. All right, so now we are done with the soybeans. We're headed back. So I think we have a few more rounds with the 1066. But we got a lot of implements to clean up back at the farm, put away. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this good old American farming here and Autumn Oaks, the beautiful country of Autumn Oaks. Thanks for watching everyone and I will see you later on Autumn Oaks.